Welcome to the first installment of the SCS software tutorial series. In this episode we'll look at extracting the game's archives. To make the most out of your modding experience, you need to have source materials to modify. To gain access to these materials, you need to extract the game archives. There are a few ways to extract the archives, let's show you some of these methods here. But first, no matter what method you decide to use, you are going to have to download the SCS Extractor application, or alternatively Mod Studio, links to which you can find in the video description below. The first example is how SCS Software designed their application to be used. First, browse to the location where you downloaded SCS Extractor. Extract the SCS underscore extractor.zip archive. You may need to open the folder where SCS Extractor was extracted. Then hold Shift and right click on the backdrop of the file explorer. Finally, select the open command window here from the context menu. In the command window, you can run applications who require you to give parameters for their execution. Normally command line applications such as SCS Extractor, have some help text detailing how they are used. If we start SCS Extractor from a command line, we get the default help message. By the help message we can see that the application expects an SCS file as its first argument and optionally, an output path, which if omitted would extract the archive in the current folder. You should know where your game is installed. This will be the path to the SCS archives. My Euro Truck Simulator is installed in the Games Steam Steam Apps Common Euro Truck Simulator 2 directory. As there are blank spaces in the path, you must wrap the argument in quotation marks. Otherwise the text Truck Simulator and 2 would be handled as the second, third and fourth arguments. Of course, we want to specify the archive we want to extract as well. In this case, def.scs. We could have picked any other archive we wanted to extract. I picked this one because it's small, and thus quicker to extract. The larger in size the archive is, the longer it takes to process. Once the command line accepts more inputs, the process has finished. You may now list the contents of the extracted archive. Here's an example of the same command, but this time with an output path specified in the second argument. I strongly recommend extracting the game's archives into one and the same directory, using a versioning system for the target directory name. To extract the other archives, one can simply repeat the process by pressing the up arrow key and changing out the target archives. But there are even easier alternatives, which we will look at in part 2 of this series. Stay tuned.